Okay, so now let's plot the heat flux along that boundary. And so highlight solution in the tree, thermal, and select directional heat flux. Okay, and we want to plot this along the path. So for scoping method, we say path, and the specific path is the one that we just created, y equals zero, okay? And <coughs> the direction of the heat flux is, so at the bottom boundary, the, it's going to cross in the y direction, so I should change that to y axis, okay? And I can rename this, so I'll right click and say rename, and I will call that heat flux crossing bottom surface. Okay? And so I can right click on this and say evaluate all results. And answers will populate that object um, and it will extract that directional heat flux um, using from, from the nodal temperatures. And you might already see a graph. Um, I will bring this up. And you can see that that shows you the variation from x equal to 0, non-dimensional x equal to 0, non-dimensional x equal to 1. It's a dimensionless heat flux, so you can ignore this dimension here. Um, and you can see that you have a slope discontinuity here, which will hopefully go away as we refine the mesh, because we have the steep gradient near this corner. And we also have the tabular data corresponding to that graph. So, if I unpin that, um, I have, you know, the values of the distance along that path versus the, the value of the directional heat flux, and again, it's, it's non-dimensional.